State Medical Board's review of hundreds of old cases involving allegations of sexual abuse or misconduct by doctors is picking up speed. This review is the result of a state investigation into the board's handling of the Richard Strauss case, the Ohio State doctor who sexually assaulted dozens of students over more than 20 years. Well, now other state licensing boards are trying to learn from the mis these mistakes and shortcomings that have been exposed. NBC 4's Ted Hart is live at the State House tonight with the story tonight. Ted? Well, yeah, and the governor's working group in the Strauss case wanted to explore how other uh, state licensing boards in Ohio handle complaints and allegations of sexual misconduct. And so today, the groups at the group's meeting, their first meeting of the new year, it included representatives of the dental board, the nursing board, the state pharmacy board, and many others. And at the heart of this is the medical board's mishandling of allegations of sexual misconduct by former OSU team Dr. Richard Strauss in the 1990s. Strauss died by suicide in 2005, the state's review exposed a failure by the medical board and the university to involve law enforcement and the failure of other health professionals to report what they knew about Strauss. One of Strauss's victims told the working group today that he complained about Strauss to a supervising physician in 1995, but it was not immediately reported. That guy still works in Illinois today, and he's still in charge of kids. Still, so, I mean, you guys have to do something because that, that kills me to think that that guy could be making the same misjudgments and the same lies to anybody else. There's going to be a significant push on the educational side of things, um, you know, doing as much outreach as possible to our licensees, um, having them understand what the consequences can be when they fail to report. And the executive director of the state medical board said today that the cases of health professionals who may have known about Strauss's activities and failed to report are being fast-tracked and could be wrapped up soon. Local for you and live at the State House, Ted Hart, NBC4. All right, Ted, thank you. Now for more information on the Strauss case, you can watch our series Culture of Cover-Up. Colleen Marshall's in-depth stories and interviews can be seen right now on our website, NBC4i.com.